to the 25,000 yen pyramid of Bonsai Con. Yeah. Everybody have a good time for the con so far? Yeah. I think the last game kind of proved it. Now we have switched our celebrities. So this time Vic is playing with Ryan, Brendo is playing with Marcus, and we're all playing with these categories on the pyramid. We have Shark. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> We have not what it seems. Don't forget, all I want for Christmas is a Mecca. <laughs> and for Turbo Mode Go! To boldly go <laughs> where no man has gone before. Um, I just want to say you split an infinitive in that uh, fifth category there. <laughs> so. And all the English majors are going to write in to uh, Gregor's yeah, language. Gonna and that I refuse to apologize. We are telling them your letters. All right. Now, somewhere up there is a Mystery 7. This is a very nice kind of book, because once you get the Mystery 7, I'm not going to tell you what it's about, but if you can still get 7 out of 7 in 30 seconds, we will give you a free badge to Ichiban Con 2014. So that's a very nice prize. It's somewhere up there, and this time we're going to start off with Grego and Marcus. What looks good to you? Oh, man. Go for it, dude. Don't forget. Don't forget. All right. There we go. Let's push the button a little harder. These are things that you should definitely have with you at an anime convention. Oh, All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, enough of these. We should do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 30 seconds on the clock. Ready, and go. Uh, this is a badge. And uh, your cell phone. And uh, you to see where you want to do what panels you want, you order the piece of paper. Oh, oh. just yeah, the information. No, it's the paper that has the times and everything. Oh, just give it to you. Okay, next. Uh, cash is money. And uh, you take a picture with the camera. And uh, <laughs> dead sets. <laughs> oh, oh, you're right. And uh, you eat little foods or... Uh, punch. Pocky is a Japanese food. No. <laughs> Chips. Uh, yes, yeah. just in time. All right. All right. The cast on schedule. <laughs> schedule. <laughs> with the times and everything. All right. Still a very respectable six out of seven. And we go over to Vic and Ryan. Hyper turbo mode, go! Hyper turbo mode, go! Well, considering what you have in front of you, Vic, I think this might be a category for you. These are things associated with coffee. I don't drink coffee. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> things associated with coffee. Get to the break. <laughs> All right, here are a Ready? And go. If it's not cold, it's cold. If it's not cold, uh, what's in it that gets you all jumpy? Caffeine. Uh, you pour your coffee into a cup. What do you drink beer out of? Can. No! <laughs> not a cup, but a. Oh god. Pass. But pass. Good morning. Coffee gets the, the milk or cream. Um, what's the famous coffee place? Starbucks. And not the sweet stuff. Sure. Yes! Yes! So, we are at a tie game. Six out of six. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> I don't either. I don't either, but mug, right? What's your face? Mug. <laughs> what a guy does to you in a dark alley to get your money. <laughs> that would be wrong to point. Alright. Ryan, you can go ahead and swap positions there, so that way Ryan is given the clues to Vic. In just a moment, first off, we need to hear from Marcus and Grego. All right. That mystery seven is still somewhere up on the board. Where are we thinking it is? I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just going to go right out on a limb here and uh, say let's leave the two Star Trek ones for uh, for Vic. Because I'm sure he would appreciate that. Seems legit. All right, so. <laughs> the Pyramid Shark Strikes Again. But, but it's, it's not what it seems. Not what it seems. Not what it seems. Not what it seems. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So this time, Marcus is describing to Grego these things associated with cosplay. <laughs> things associated with cosplay. Grego's been around the convention circuit for a while. This might not be too bad, but let's find out. 30 seconds, ready, and go. Uh, wig. Um, put this thing together. Uh, I have to type a sewing machine. 
guy that hosts the uh, MC. Um, what you use to put it together? Uh, thread. Uh, the actual. You go to the um, store to actually buy it. Yeah. Um, it's a cosplay. The big thing. Masquerade. Uh, yeah. Contest. Yeah. Cos cosplay contest. The other word for contest. Uh. uh Skip. Okay. Um, people that are actually look. Uh, I'm guessing that's audience. Yeah. The judges. Was it? We passed a competition. Ah, competition. Okay. All right. Cool. That was a toughie. All right. All right. Still got four, so you're up to ten. All right. This might be an opportunity to pull ahead, Ryan, if you can uh, get a decent category. Seven eleven. Or the, sorry, the best. Let me just say something. If you wanted to do a Star Trek thing, this would be the best setup to do it because, like, I would, I'd be channeling like whatever Star Trek. But the problem is, you wouldn't necessarily know how to describe something if you didn't know what it was. So. Pick something you feel comfortable with, all right? I'm still gonna, I fear no evil. Let's go with where no man is going. <laughs> and things associated with the women's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I know what I'm gonna do for the next time. I can stop Where no man has gone before, these were things associated with outer space. Oh. Oh. Things associated with outer space. Yeah, okay. All right, 30 seconds. Ready, buddy? Let's do it. Let's Ready. do it. Go. They launched us on a rocket. Rock. Astronauts. <laughs> the ship itself. Spaceship. A different word. Rocket. Pass. <laughs> Four planet from the sun. Earth. <laughs> Mars. Sorry. The person riding the ship. Astronaut. The entire universe. universe. Solar system. Um, the Earth circles the sun. sun. Orbit. Uh, it comes across the sky. Comet. Comet. Meteor. What is this? What was the bonus thing? You launch a shuttle. Oh, shuttle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to be in Star Trek. Like, the you just think actually the shuttle is. Okay, the shuttle is on a rocket that takes it into orbit. Yeah. So, Challenge or explore all kinds of. Oh my god. So 10 out of 10. Alright, so we're still in a tie situation. This is interesting. Alright, Grego and Marcus, who is given the clues on that one? One of those is a mystery seven, dude. One of those is a mystery seven. Is it all I was for Christmas is mystery seven? And I'm thinking it may be things associated with Christmas. So uh, let's do that. You want to do all, all I want for Christmas is Mecca? Yeah, all I want for Christmas is Mecca. Alright, oh, it is not the mystery guy. seven. Okay. All right. right, and all I want for Christmas is a And please be Christmas. Please be Christmas. Please be Christmas. All right. Greg is describing to Marcus these common gifts for kids during the holidays. Okay. Common gifts for kids during the holidays. Thirty seconds. Ready? And go. A small dog. A baby dog. And two wheels. Bicycle. And a Nintendo 64 is a video game system. And uh, if you're bad, you get a lump of coal. And the uh, uh, Cabbage Patch Kid is a doll. And uh, what you put on before your shoes? Socks. And uh, friendship is magic. Puppies. <laughs> the little puppy there. Seven to boldly go. Yeah, you, this is a, definitely an interesting situation. Obviously, the mystery seven. Oh, this might be that. It was no mystery this time. <laughs> we knew that was there. Okay. Okay. And you have to get seven out of seven in order to force a tie. Anything less, and Grego and Marcus are going for ten thousand. <laughs> So here we go, 30 seconds on the clock. Wait a minute, what is, what's it about? Know, it's the Mystery 7. The Mystery 7, you don't get to know. Oh, that's, okay, that's okay. I, mean, I had the boldly go title in my head. I, for some reason, I was thinking that there was a description of it. Okay, okay you ready? I'm going to give you a clue. Let's do this. Right, so boldly go is the category. Okay, all right, here we go. Ready? Go. You ride a bike. You fly in a plane. Uh, you drive a car. Uh, you ride with several people on a Greyhound bus. Uh, you giddy up, giddy up on a horse, and you ride on tr tracks, train, and you take a, a cab, a, another new cab, yes! yes! Of course, was methods 
for transportation. All right, so once again, we are in tiebreaker time. And this time, we're looking at words that begin with D. They go first this time because they create the tie. Correct. Words that begin with D or words that begin with C. Vic and Ryan give the first choice. We are discussing strategy here. This is serious business, guys. They're getting D. They are giving the letter D. <laughs> the letter D. Oh, the D. All of the D. All of the letter D. The letter D. I'd like to catch up with my client, please. <laughs> Describe to Ryan these words and begin with D. Ready? Go. If you let go of something, it falls to the floor. Down. A rain. Drop. Um, you jump off into a pool. Dive. Uh, when you hit your car, uh, you do damage. Um, not light, but. Not light, but. Down. <laughs> At nighttime, it's dark. Uh, money. Money is called a... Give me a... De Niro. <laughs> I love the fact. As soon, as soon as Ryan said De Niro, I saw Grego and Vic both do this. And face plant. A hundred cents, Ryan, is a... Ryan, Ryan, there you go. Ryan, if there's any consolation, you're going to eat your bon ton and you have 500 yen in your pocket. <laughs> All right, so you got to get at least five out of seven, Grego and Marcus. Yeah, five and thirty seconds. All right, Marcus, so we're going to start with C. Why don't you go grab some meat? Where is it again with the letter C? Yeah, baby. All right, C. C. All right, thirty seconds, dude. I'm going to just do it. We're not going to do it. I'm just going to do it. All right, ready? And go. Uh, a uh, laptop computer. And uh, with scissors, you type. And uh, a, uh, wind, a woodwind, a bass chunk, no, a woodwind blow into it. Um, so skip it. Uh, you go to summer camp, and not open, but closed. And uh, university is a college. That's it! Going to Point Circle, Ryan, uh, do you have to shake the hand of the winner? Enjoy that bad. You are going to become an Inchibon College in January 2014. <laughs> Just a little bit out there in the North Carolina. And you, you give us a great game. Thank you. Give it all up for Ryan. <laughs> and now, Greta once again tries his luck at the pyramid. This time with Marcus, we're going to go for another 10,000 yen. Right after this message for the YouTube audience, stay tuned. I think this is the most fun I've ever had in an anime convention. Welcome back to the 25,000 yen pyramid. Grego is once again in the winner circle, this time with Marcus, who is our other player. Ryan picked up 500 yen in the winner circle. We'll see what you can do here, Grego. You know how it works. List of things. Don't use your hands. Don't get too descriptive. I would hate to have to signal that buzzer. And so well, would I. I mean, I've been bleeped twice already on this show, and I'm supposed to be the guy who... I, I'm the guy who usually hosts the tryout and go, Ha-ha, you can't say that. And then I get it. I've done it twice. We're not doing it three times. Okay. So we're not doing it three times. All right. Let's be some series. And once again, audience, I do ask for your silence for the next 60 seconds so that we do not give these guys any... Rocking hits. All right, going for 10,000 yen with 60 seconds on the clock. Here is your first subject. Go. Bacon and eggs, cereal exercise. You're under arrest. Come over here, sir, and put your hands on the car. It's a Thank you. 
when that came up, I'm sorry you didn't get to see it, but my face just went, oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Donuts. Hey. 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 Otherwise, I was going to say a golf green. Yeah, there you that's, go. And that's the cheese. challenge. There you go. So, Marcus, you got 10,000 yen in prizes. You're going to get to pick from our prize suitcase. You are the big winner today on the 10,000 yen pyramid. who have made this, I think, like I said, one of the most enjoyable shows. Uh, I'm gonna say, I think we had so many ties in this game, and we both won our contestants, lots of really great stuff. I'd say this battle is not yet over. No. <laughs> we have not decided anything yet. <laughs> Get back on up here, Ryan. We're gonna send, them, send yeah, you off. Yeah, come up here. All right, we're going to wrap things up in just a moment right here on the 25,000 Yen Pyramid. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for coming. Give me all the good time. Ryan's going to issue one card. Marcus has got over 10,000 yen to spend in the prize suitcase. And give it up for Vic and Grego, who both led our contestants to some amazing prizes here on the pyramid. That's all the time we have for now. Come back here on Sunday. We've got Anime Password with Grego, along with Lisa and Vic from Mike Out. Uh, Mike Lineski from Laugh Out Loud, not Vic. Um, and we also have the Pokemon Game Show, which will be a treat. So until then, this is Dusty saying thank you for, for watching us here on the 25,000 Year Pyramid. So long.